Because of a giant dinosaur has been discovered in the free state, the plant-eating dinosaur named Liduma Hadi Mafube weighed 12 tons and stood about 4 meters high at the hip. Liduma Hadi Mafube was the largest land animal alive on earth when it lived nearly 200 million years ago. It was roughly double the size of a large African elephant. I'm joined in studio now by Virgs University paleontologist Professor Jonah Koineri. I got that right, right? It's close enough. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us. I mean, um, how did this discovery come about? It, it actually started uh, over 20 years ago when they dug the Highland Water Project and they did the paleontological inspection and found these huge bones coming out of a cliff. Hmm. And so they started excavating them at Fitz um, and then my predecessor in the job excavated a little more and I came on the job in 2012 and did the rest of it. And when you came onto the job, just tell me what struck you about this animal. Well, so this, this bone that's in front of us, we didn't even have at that point. Um, but what struck me was that the rest of the bones were so big. And when we went back to the field, and this is near Clarence in the Free State, we saw a little bit of this poking out. And as soon as we started to dig around it, we said, oh, you know, that's it. This is a really big animal. And of course, you know the area where, where you found it. Just describe it for us. I mean, what did it look like possibly those many years ago? Were the humans? No, humans weren't around for 199 million years, you know. Um, this is much before humans come on the scene. And the Drakensberg aren't there, the Clarence uh, uh, sandstones aren't there. It's actually a flat floodplain with, with uh, streams coming through and drying up in the, in the summertime. And, um, I mean, I'm looking at this. Mm. It looks huge. Um, it tells you that, of course, it was that tall, as you, you described, and as we mentioned in the intro. But how did the, you know, the, the, those who made the discoveries, how did the scientists and everybody else who was involved in discovering this, how did they determine the size? Well, it, it's actually very easy, and that's why I brought these bones in. You, you simply measure the distance around the leg bone. Um, and I've got this bone here. This is um, a South African dinosaur. It's its upper thigh bone. And okay. this is an animal called Massospondylus. Right. Now, that, that animal weighs about as much as I do, sort of 85 kilograms if I'm lying on the low side. Mm -hmm. And um, we can measure the circumference of this. We compare it to living mammals today. Okay. Things like elephants okay. and, and, and buck and things like that. And we say, okay, if, the, if this animal scales like those mammals do, if this thing is this big around, well, how much did it weigh? And then was this how the researchers then were able to determine that it's about the size of two elephants? That's right. Yeah, so this femur here, and you can see this is just the knee. This is just the knee joint. Is this, this the knee joint? Yeah. You can see the, <laughs> wow. end of the knee here, right? <laughs> so that's just the knee. And we could tell from this um, that this animal weighed about 12 tons. And how do we determine then, as the researchers, of course, how do you then determine what it ate at the time? How do you see that? Well, we look at other dinosaurs um, that have more complete skeletons okay. and that have teeth preserved and things like that. And we can tell from this family of dinosaurs that the teeth are designed for, um, they've evolved for chewing plants um, or for gulping plants whole. Hmm. And I have to ask you this. Mm. I really have to. I've seen Jurassic Park <laughs> and most of our viewers have probably sure. seen it. Was it the same? Do we see the same creature? Can we say Liduma Hadi looked like that? So what we're hoping is that the next Jurassic Park will feature all the South African dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah, but those dinosaurs in Jurassic Park are actually from um, the U.S. and China, but much, much later in their evolution. Okay, okay. So that's what I'm saying. Mr. Spielberg, please put our dinosaurs front and center. And does, I mean, this discovery then impact, um, you know, our understanding of the dinosaur evolution? It does. It tells us that they got big really early in their evolution. So it's sort of day one, dinosaurs take over the planet and boom, they're already getting huge. Um, it tells us that they came to dominate ecosystems very, very fast. So if we want, um, as a member of the public, I want to see this discovery, I want to learn more about it, where do I go? There's many great places in South Africa. Um, you can come to the Origin Center at Vitz University, and we have a dinosaur display. Um, the Iziko South African Museum in Cape Town, it's a beautiful building, and it's got a whole mounted dinosaur that goes up to the rafters. Wow. Uh, so that's very nice. And then the National Museum in Bloemfontein and the Albany Museum in Grahamstown. I'm definitely coming because I want to know how <laughs> all this measurement and all this measuring and all of that just happens. Thank you so much uh, for talking to us. Uh, that was University of uh, Wurz, uh, paleontologist uh, Professor Johan Reineri.